Hello, today I'm going to be viewing this uh, soundbar that we have here that comes with a subwoofer. And uh, just the first thing to note is that there are three main pieces here. We have the soundbar right here, um, and we have all of the inputs right here. We have the TV ARC input, got this audio inputs right here, USB optical input, uh, DC input. Um, auxiliary, so we have a lot of different options here for the audio that we want to take from the TV or whatever device we're using to put into the soundbar here itself. And then here we have the subwoofer, which in my opinion it looks really really nice. It's a nice black color, uh, very high quality material on the outside and this nice metallic look right in here. Um, and then we have uh, the uh, audio cord right here that comes out the back that we will plug into the soundbar and uh, another really nice thing that comes with it is this remote here so this remote has a ton of really cool options like you can increase or decrease the treble increase or decrease the bass um, change the input bluetooth um, all of these like really really cool things um, along with just the basic uh, pause play fast forward reverse power button and then the mute button at the top so, I mean, just looking at it, I know it's going to be really nice to uh, be able to change all these different features just from sitting on the couch. You don't have to like go up to the soundbar and like press it and uh, stuff like that. Um, also, a uh, wide range of different audio cables come with it. Right here we have the optical in cord, which is what I'll be using from our TV to plug into the soundbar, which will connect to the subwoofer as well. Finally, we have these little screws here. Um, these screws uh, you can use if you want to hang this up on a wall um, to give it like a, a different uh, different look and a different uh, angle for the sound to come in. So if you want to do that, uh, you can use these screws and wall fastener for that. And then we also have the power adapter. So inside here, we have the power adapter which plugs from the wall into the soundbar itself. So I mean with all of these uh, we also have the instructions. It's going to give you a more detailed uh, view of how to use each specific chord, the differences between the sound levels, things like that. But uh, now we're going to get into um, actually plugging this into my TV and we're going to see how it sounds. Overall, I would say that the soundbar sounds really, really good um, plugged into the TV. Um, subwoofer, also, you can tell that it's there with both of these combined, um, like with the movie I was playing. It's very, very obvious compared to without a subwoofer or without um, the soundbar at all. It's, it sounded really, really good. And then when I would switch um, the different modes, I turn the bass up, bass down, treble up, treble down. It's like very obvious and it makes a huge difference. Um, but overall, I'd say everything is super high quality, and uh, it sounds really, really great, and I'd say that this is a great product.